Um, hey guys. So, I know I've been gone for a couple weeks now, but you, you see, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is, what, what's happening, what the fuck? Welcome everyone to a gameplay, a, a playthrough, a walkthrough, a little, uh, a we're gonna be taking a look at the incident at Grove Lake, because apparently a lot of shit happens down there. This is probably in Ohio, if I had to guess anything of the sort. I know you guys missed me. You guys always miss me so much. Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. That just gave me flashbacks to my very religious upbringing. It was not fun. I, I didn't enjoy it. It, w it wasn't really a, a goofy moment in my life. No, it kind, it kind of was a little bit. There are some laughs here and there. Uh, is this Ohio or is this Area 51? I, I hope this is Ohio. I hope that Ohio looks something like this. I, I know there's- I don't think there's any mountains in Ohio, but headcanon says otherwise. Soupy wants to believe the opposite of reality. Let me be, guys. I'm a free woman. Oh, what is that? Oh, this is giving a uh, entity room. It's giving entity room. Oh, ow. Don't do that. Host client reached. Triangulating target position. Oh, they're coming after me now. Connecting to live footage, connecting to live audio. Oh, we're connected. But literally, my nose started running as soon as I turned on the fucking recording. This is a pain in my fucking ass. Is the universe trying to. Tell me something here, or what What the fuck? Target. Appreciate you taking my call. Unknown, let's get this straight. You got out? Unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Ooh. <laughs> Not so smart as they think at S4, huh? I'm just gonna make sure my cat's not up to any funny business. Oh! No! No, get out of the fucking- Mayday, mayday, abort mission, abort mission. Target, smarter than you know. So can we meet? This is sound like a great start to a Tinder date. Sure, let's make it a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Neither do I. Let's say the diner on, uh, Redacted. Works for me. I'll bring what I found. Good. I'll see you soon. Remember what I have risked for this. I remember. This is- that, that was a really sweet interaction, guys. I don't know about you, that really tugged at the heartstrings. Somewhere north of Nevada- oh, this is Area 51. September 9th, 1997. Okay, we're here! Yes! Hey, come here. Come here! Remember the bath salts I was telling you about earlier? You know, the Craigslist ad! Yeah! I'm here to sell them to you. Come here, stop stop walking the other way. Bath salts. Your favorite. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Gobble them up. I think it's gonna be this guy sitting by himself. Is it this guy? It is. Thank you f f for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've r risked so much g g getting here. They're following me. Are those, hey, buddy, I, I'm not trying to make this obvious here, but those drugs I sold you last night, are you, are you alright? Did you, did you take too much? I swear I didn't lace it or anything. Don't don't look at me like that. I'm just asking. I d d don't have much time. Papa, please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Why did you capitalize that that little letter T there? Get this stuff to the public. They need to know b b before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. Oh, oh okay. Oh, harsh words, my friend. Okay. There's a radio station I know of. You know. Please go on and be careful. Are we talking about Infowars? Are we going to be invited to the Infowars? They'll follow you too. Pick up the tape and the files. Easy. Who are these people? Who, who are these featureless people? This is a room. This is the type of room that I would probably sit in and breathe in. Hmm. Smells like old cardboard and wet tape. Try to visualize what that smells like for a second. Just try it. Try it. Seriously, try it out. T. Walton. You know, you got a lot of shit going on the West Coast for some reason. Like, why the West Coast? Don't- don't bring your problems here, sir. Take it over to the East Coast. Insert the tape. We're watching, guys. Hey. Eyes down here. Come on. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident 17. Example of encounter type F. A uh, copying or distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved to members. I didn't even read that fully. 
Pause the fucking screen, asshole. I don't know. Stop looking at me like that. The following took place August 19... Just read it yourself, guys. Just, just figure it out. Oh, okay, cool. We're... Uh... Camping. Camping is fun. I love making new friends in the woods with strangers. It's always ended very well for me, too. Every every single time I've I've attempted that, it's gone really good, guys. I've never been the same ever since, though. Oh, look at him. He's just sitting there. You guys remember? I don't know if... <laughs> I love how I'm about to say this as if, like, tons of other people remember it. Have you guys ever seen that documentary with Jesse Ventura and Alex Jones? Where they go into the woods, and then they look at these just, you know, strange and vaguely shaped containers, and then they immediately go, Oh, they're making coffins! It's a thousand plastic coffins. So each one of those is a separate coffin stacked on top. There's probably, what, 20 to 25 per stack. Why did this whole scenario just make me think of that? Like, I feel like they would be in these woods and they would be watching me. Me specifically. Oh, oh. Don't run from me. Run from Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura. Oh, look at that. That's, uh... I mean, they're talking about a UFO over Phoenix, Arizona. That's that's all I got out of that. I don't have the attention span to just sit there and listen to, you know, a complete sentence. Like, that's just how I am. Like, you could be having a conversation with me eye to eye, face to, to face, you know, mouth to mouth. I'll just walk away mid-sentence. I'll just... I'm gone. That's it. You don't even know what happened. I'm just out of there. I got tired of it. I got I got sick of your bullshit. Oh, this is not good. Anytime you see a, just a single tree in the middle of an open field, that's that's usually not good. Please turn supplied handbook to page 42. We will now review the four tapes of encounters. So what the fuck was the point of that? Walking simulator 2.0? The first kind CE1 visual sightings of an unidentified flying object seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an appreciable angular extension and considerable detail. That, that, yeah, talk about considerable detail. That is a considerable detail, indeed. I love how this guy is totally clear and then everything else just looks like it was shit on and then spat out in no particular order. The second kind, a UFO event with physical effect such as interfere i don't like that picture that's that makes me upset i don't even think i'm allowed to show this on youtube actually i'm, I'm gonna have to blur that out <laughs> a ufo event with physical effect such as interference animal reactions or physical trace like impressions in the ground scorched or otherwise affected vegetation or a chemical trace the third kind ufo encounters <laughs> Why do they, they have to find the most stereotypical image? Like, it's giving Howard the alien right now. UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. The fourth kind... A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. The following is an example of C2. Please identify on your work bro uh, uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's so beautiful. The little pixels in the sky. You really gotta appreciate that sometimes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, there's three. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're, they're friends. Just like that, they're putting on a little show for us. It, that really touched me. I feel really touched right now. Like, deeply touched. Why has it always gotta be some innocent, unsuspecting camper? Jesse? Alex? Is that you? I'm coming, boys! I'm coming! I'm gonna save you! <laughs> the CIA has gotten to them! I gotta- I gotta help! Oh, sh- fuck! I'm sorry, I take it back. I take- I take everything back. I'm so sorry. That- that was blasphemous. Maybe they're trying to get my attention. Maybe I should just- You know, greet the- the new folks in the neighborhood. That sounds like a really nice bass drop. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, that could be at a concert. Oh, that's- yeah, that's a bop. Now tell me, tell me guys, tell me fellas, would you go in that fucking house right there? Because I- I would. I, I would go in that house. He's just doing this. Oh shit! Look at him, he's- he's free. That's what we should all aspire 
to be. How is he filming that when his, he's not even holding anything? Was the camera, like, lodged in his stomach? This could be a lung for all we know. Oh! <laughs> Healthy. Uh, look, he's, a uh, Nothing like walking down the old tendril. Just like grandfather used to say. Why are they all naked? That's what I want to know. How did they- How did they get to the point of being naked at the time of their death? How do I not get to that point? How- How do I know I'm not gonna be naked when I die? Like, I don't want to be caught with my drawers down past my ankles, you know? Oh, he's- Oh, he's already gotten to that point, nah. And he seems to be groaning in pleasure, but maybe- Maybe that's okay. <laughs> They're just reenacting my- my own birthing into this world at this point. That's- yeah, this is exactly how it went down, based on my understanding. Wow. If this is a new religion, then how do I sign up? No, that was- that was just- that was a joke, guys. Don't worry. The tape has now concluded. Yeah, I can see that. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to archive section 4. Please now contact your facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. You will be signing and completing Form 52. I Give me the fucking chance to read this shit, goddammit. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Those? Plural? Please eject the tape. Please pull out now. Please. Man, look at this fucking dump that we're living in. Okay, for one, this radio? Why is he knocking multiple times? Whoa, it's two big fellas! And they're both bald! Ho! Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have answered the, that, that door. On September 11th, 1997, talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call from a man claiming to have worked in Area 51. And you're on the air, hello. Hello, Art? Yes. Hi, um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time um, well, look, look, let's begin by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and, and, <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country, um, oh, man, I don't know where to start. They're, uh, they're, they're gonna... Um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, the space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be, uh, they have infiltrated a lot of, uh, uh a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now aren't but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge <laughs> Well, you know what? Props to the voice actor on that. that. That was actually really well done. That was a good ending, great concept, great execution. You know, it was just simply lacking the Alex Jones and uh, Jesse Ventura lore that I was hoping for. I was hoping for an expansion on their romance. Thank you guys for watching. Watch one of my other silly little videos sometime. You'll like it. You'll, you'll find it to be a real treat. Now is your opportunity. You can't go back now.
You've already made this decision. You've come this far. Do it. 